Hockey Foundations. baseball. Today, the Red Sox take on the Detroit Tigers. Hi, everybody. I'm Don Orsillo. As always, joined by Jerry Remy. Final game of the series, and the Red Sox send Pedro Martinez to the mound. Well, how'd you like to be in that Tiger uh, clubhouse this morning, knowing you've lost the first three games of this series? Now you've got to face the ace of the Red Sox pitching staff, Pedro Martinez. Grady Little says that he's back to 100%. So that means, even at best-case scenario, he's going to be around 100 to 110 pitches in this game. But it's good to have Pedro back, where you know you can get him deep into the ball game. Should be a wonderful afternoon. We're back with the starting lineups and the first pitch. Pedro Martinez goes for win number five against the Tigers, a team he has never lost to. Next. Red Sox fans are big game hunters. Fenway's always in season, and now with Tigers and Marlins on the loose, the Sox are sure to bag a few W's. The Sox take the untamed Tigers by the tail, June 23rd through the 26th, and then the Sox give the Marlins the hook as they close out interleague play June 27th through the 29th. It's the Tigers and Marlins. For tickets, call 877-RED-SOX-9 or log on to RedSox.com. Energizing. Of all the thrilling lines on the Nissan Sentra, this may be the most interesting. The bottom line. At the Nissan National Sales Event, take advantage of 0.9 APR financing or 1500 cash back on the 2003 Sentra. But hurry, July 7th is the end of the line. The name's Mason, W.B. Mason. We were searching for clues to explain why the Red Sox sold Babe Ruth when I spotted a familiar suspect. Hello, boys. Ever seen this before? My office supply bill, so. So, that's high. So high, the Red Sox sold something big to pay it. Something big? Oops. If only the Red Sox had saved money on my office supplies. Who knew? Who the WB made? And the East Street Band, back live. Saturday, September 6th at Fenway Park. Reserve seats on sale this Friday morning at 10. The Orpheum Theater box office Ticketmaster by phone or online. Bruce Springsteen and the East Street Band are coming. Tickets on sale this Friday. Society says that your mind isn't hungry enough. They say your are aren't strong enough, but you are going to prove to them that you can handle the really big stories, the stories that unfold. All right, now show me strength. Uh-huh. Yeah. Woo! Strong minds, strong bodies. The Boston Globe, your world unfolding daily. And turn and fold and turn. Red Sox fans are big game hunters. Fenway's always in season, and now with Tigers and Marlins on the loose, the Sox are sure to bag a few W's. The Sox take the untamed Tigers by the tail, June 23rd through the 26th, and then the Sox give the Marlins the hook as they close out interleague play June 27th through the 29th. It's the Tigers and Marlins. For tickets, call 877-RED-SOX-9 or log on to RedSox.com. Boston Red Sox Baseball and Nesson is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, by your Boston area Lexus dealers, by Citizens Bank, by Volvo, by Bob Stores, and by Coors Light. 
Well, good afternoon, everybody. Don Orsillo and Jerry Remy back at Fenway Park on what is a warm afternoon at Fenway. Summer is certainly here, and the Red Sox take it on the Tigers for the fourth time. Let's take a look at the visiting Tigers starting nine. Leading off the DH, Bobby Higginson, Warren Morris at second base, Dimitri Young in left, Kevin Witt at first base, Eric Munson at third. It is Craig Monroe in right, Ramon Santiago, the shortstop, Matt Walbeck does the catching, and Andres Torres in center field, that's ninth. The defense this afternoon for the Red Sox, Bill Miller will be at third base, Nomar the shortstop, Todd Walker at second, and David Ortiz at first. Left to right, Manny Ramirez, Damian Jackson, and Trot Nixon. Jason Veritek behind the plate and on the mound, Pedro Martinez. Start number 13, the record of 4-2, and 2.51 ERA. Four times Pedro has left the game this year with the lead, and the bullpen has not been able to hold it down. Against Detroit in his career, a perfect 3-0 with a 2.77 ERA. Bill Miller has the plate, Lance Barchdale at first, Joe West at second, and Jeff Kellogg is the umpire at third. Bobby Higginson in there on the left side, and Pedro ready with the first pitch of the ball game, missing for ball one. Higginson at 244, five homers, and 23 runs batted in. It's it high in the air, down the right field line, over goes Trot Nixon. Underneath it, looking up into the high blue sky, and there's one away. Well, let's check today's game notes brought to you by a New England Toyota deal as the Tigers 1 in 10 on Thursdays this season. The Red Sox five straight games without an error, longest streak of the season. And the Red Sox this series 14 for 42 with runners in scoring position. We're available. Today's broadcast can be heard in Spanish by using the SAP function on your TV set. Buenas tardes, amigo. One down for Warren Morris, the second baseman for the Tigers. Takes strike one from Pedro. Morris hitting up over 300 at 304. Three homers and seven runs batted in. Off the end of the bat, kind of cues it foul down the third baseline. And he is quickly down 0-2. I'll tell you what, you know it's hot at the ballpark when the radio guy has an ice pack on his neck, Jerry Trupiano. That's when you know it is warm at this ballpark. He looks like the heavyweight champion of the world over there with his... Uh... Look at that. Ice rolled into that towel. <laughs> the 0-2 will miss away, 1-2. and two. Pedro going after win number five of the season here today. Well, there's 2.51 earned run average and with the long sleeves despite the very warm afternoon and he will miss up and away. it up foul back behind the Tigers dugout on the third base side and it's still two and two you look at this lineup today for the Tigers only four guys have faced Pedro in this lineup today Higginson Young Santiago and Walbach as a matter of fact Santiago had his first home run against Pedro Martinez inside Morris thought about swinging did he no they check it third Jeff Kellogg says he did not offer that's a full count. Pedro going with the cut fastball inside. And looks like Morris did have control of the head of that bat. Morris was one for three here last night as he fouls off yet another Pedro pitch. And he sits safely in seven of his last ten starts. Settled in as the everyday second baseman for the Tigers. Seems strange not to see Damian Easley over there at second base. Of course, released by the Tigers earlier this season. There, strike three, first strikeout of the day for Pedro. Eight pitches in that at bat before he picks up the strikeout against Morris. Pedro's strikeout high in the season is 12. He did that against the Minnesota Twins back on May the 3rd. This Detroit club strikes out uh, more than anybody in the league with the exception of the Toronto Blue Jays. Here's Dimitri Young who starts again in left field here this afternoon. Did the same thing last night. 
was one for four in the ball game last night with a double. It's a 284, leads the team in home runs with 15 so far in the season. He's driven in 43. It's 12 hits in his last 31 at bats. And a 387 clip as he's raised his batting average up to 284. Down on the count, one and two. Higginson fly to right. Morris struck out. The one two to Young. That'll miss away, and it evens up at two and two. And Young fouls it back to the backstop to stay alive. The Tigers heading into today's action after the loss last night have fallen to 18 and 57. They've lost five in a row in nine of their last 10 games. The 2-2 two -two to Young. To right down the line. Nixon on the move towards the corner. He won't get there to one hop up into the seats. A ground rule double for Dimitri Young. And the Tigers have their first base hit of the afternoon. Look like a changeup from Pedro. Dimitri Young does a nice job staying back on it. Pedro got it more out over the plate than he wanted to. You can see Veritek setting up away. This pitch stays out over the plate. And Dimitri Young one hop into the stands for the ground rule double. So here is Kevin Witt with two down and a runner in scoring position. Witt has spent the entire series of first base for the Tigers at 277. Four homers and nine runs batted in. Over the last 13 games, he's hit at 317. And he cranks it foul down towards Bob Tomaselli beyond the Red Sox dugout. I understand Bob took one on the knee the other day during BP. And uh, he's already got the wrist issue, and, but he's a gamer down there. Popped up foul off the left side, and Pedro ahead one and two. I understand that we are being uh, watched today in Ireland. A lot of Red Sox fans in Ireland. What time is it in Ireland? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying to think about that. Six, five or six hours, I think, ahead. Oh, the nice evening start. Looking away two and two. This is probably a stupid question, but have you ever been to Ireland? No, I have not. No, no. neither have I. I told us it is five hours ahead. So, so a six o'clock start yep. in Ireland. Perfect, Perfect. timing. Watching Pedro O. Martinez today. The 2-2. Two -two. Strike three. Strikeout number 2,300 for Pedro Martinez, and the Tigers are gone. Okay, we've got something borrowed, something blue, something old, something new. Uh, I think new. I don't. I, new. I don't have anything. I don't have anything new. Something new. Introducing Dunkin' Donuts' refreshing new Lemonade Culotta. For a new twist on lemonade, it's just the thing. Stop by Dunkin' Donuts and try our new refreshing Lemonade Culotta. To quench your thirst, this delicious frozen drink is just the thing. The Hyundai Elantra, a comparison. More standard features than a Toyota Corolla LE. All for over $1,900 less when comparably equipped. And only the Elantra is protected by America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. Looks like we have a winner. Test drive the Hyundai Elantra. Nicely equipped for just $12,699. At your Hyundai dealer. Hurry into the Hyundai winning season event and get $1,000 cash back or 0% APR through June 30th. Skill. Skill 
is doing what others find impossible. Hamill, Waxler, Allen, and Collins. Personal Injury Law. Back at Fenway, ready for the bottom of the first inning. Tigers didn't score. Pedro Martinez with his 22,300th career strikeout, 39th all-time. As he struck out, Kevin Witt to end the first inning. And the Red Sox coming to bat here in the bottom of the first, led by Damian Jackson in center field, Todd Walker at second, Omar Garcia Parr at shortstop, Ramirez in left, Ortiz at first, Millar the DH, Nixon in right, Bill Miller at third base, Jason Veritek does the catching, he bats ninth. Well, Jackson starting for back-to-back -back games for the Red Sox, and Damian in center field. After getting the start against the left-hander in right field. And Jackson promptly lines it down the left field line for a base hit. Over the plate is Dimitri Young. Jackson's got good speed. Heading to second, head first. And safely with a leadoff double. Now, Damian Jackson last night had a couple of hits of big hit last night with the bases loaded late in the game. He gets a fastball from Roney and puts it right down that left field line. It's a nice play by Dimitri Young. Quickly got over there, made a strong throw, but Jackson with the head first slide has the leadoff double. Johnny Damon getting the day off. Damian Jackson getting the start in center field. So in scoring position already now for Todd Walker. We'll take strike one. Roney making only his second start. He made 22 appearances out of the bullpen before that last start against Colorado. Went three and two thirds in that ball game, four hits and a couple of runs. He's a Rule Five draft pick out of the Colorado organization. Another young pitcher checks in at 23 years of age. Walker sends it to right. Jackson coming around. He'll score the game's first run. Red Sox lead it one to nothing as they open the bottom of the first with back-to-back -back doubles. Todd Walker drives in his 40th run of the season. Pretty impressive hitting in a number two spot in the lineup. He got a changeup, hooked it up over the head of Kevin Witt, and very quickly on just a few pitches, the Red Sox have the one nothing lead. Four pitches and one run for the Red Sox. Both Jackson and Walker doubling here out of the gate in the bottom of the first inning. Now Garcia Parra will try his luck against Matt Roney. And we're taking strike one. 344 to begin the day for Garcia Parra. Good for fourth in the American League. Melvin Mora leading the AL at 366, then Ichiro. Milton Bradley, the Cleveland Indians, then Nomar. Garcia Parra's second in multi-hit games. Nomar with 34 of them. He is second only to Ichiro's 35 multi-hit games. Omar leads the American League in runs scored, 67 runs. Comes back out of the way and is ahead 2 and 1. That Roney, 23 years of age, another young Tigers pitcher, makes his home in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and is also big, at 6 foot 3, 230 pounds. It foul off the right side, evens up at two and two. First year in the big leagues for Matt Roney, his 24th overall appearance, second start. Just a year ago, is in A ball. And pops it up. Right side, first baseman Kevin Witt takes care of out number one. Take a look at the Tiger defense. It'll be Eric Munson at third base, Ramon Santiago the shortstop, Warren Morris at second, and Kevin Witt at first. Dimitri Young, Andres Torres, and Craig Monroe in the outfield. Matt Walbeck doing the catching, and of course, Roney doing the pitching. So one down, Walker at second base, and here's Manny Ramirez. Yeah. 
He only had 318, 16 homers, and 57 runs batted in. Seven for nine with a double RBI and six runs scored. As he sends it foul off the right side, Manny's been red hot. Leads the Red Sox in RBIs with 57. Combined with Kevin Millar's 55 RBIs, Nomar's 52 RBIs. It's the only trio in the majors with at least 52 RBIs apiece this season. Chops this one outside a third and foul. Yeah, Manny had a very difficult series uh, down in Philly, but things certainly have turned around quickly back here at Fenway Park for him. Three hit performance last night, as Don mentioned, seven for nine. Todd Walker at second base with one down here in the bottom of the first inning. A spin Manny back and out of the way. Two and two. We've seen some of these young Tigers pitchers not afraid to come inside. It seems to be successful at the major league level. We certainly need to learn how to do that. Here's 2-2. Two -two. And he pops it up. In behind the mound. The shortstop at second baseman. It'll be the second baseman Warren Morris. Two down. Good job there by Roney. Came right back inside against Manny and tied him up, jammed him, and hit that little pop up to second base. So that is a good sign. A young pitcher not intimidated by Ramirez, so not afraid to come inside. And that time he had Manny tied up for the pop up. Tell you what, they, they have some good arms that we have seen over the last couple of days. Uh, unfortunately, they've been victimized by a lack of offense. So some of the numbers for Marath and uh, no, those they should be better on the season. And Bonderman, we saw. Him. Yeah, I, I like Bonderman a lot. David Ortiz fouls off the first pitch. 290 batting average for Ortiz, three homers and 33 runs batted in. Over the last 35 games, he's hit at a 342 clip and has really become very consistent. Used his average during that time from 188 up to 290. And in some ways, that's coincided with uh, more playing time for David Ortiz and the trade of Shea Hillenbrand, which has certainly opened up some time for him. He's seen a lot more regular playing time for Grady Little over at first base. Gonna reach the seats back and out of play. A sun-drenched crowd here this afternoon at Fenway Park. Matinee game, one o'clock start, and uh, those folks that are in the sunshine, I hope they get their tanning lotion with them. But the bleachers are a little warm today. Whoa! We didn't have a spring. There was absolutely there was <laughs> officially no spring in Boston. It went from winter to hazy, hot, and humid. Cold and rainy Sunday night to 90 degrees on Monday. And we are now in the midst of summer in Boston on this June 26th. The Red Sox bats have heated up. Orange second base, two down, a run already in. A 2-2. Two -two. Again fouled off. Next pitch from Roney will be his 20th of the inning. You know, the summer brings out the best in Tom Caron, too. He has this nice Tommy Bahama shirt that he's wearing around to do his uh, interviews in the crowd. Very casual look. You notice that. I, we're getting to see a whole different line of T.C. wardrobe as the summer goes on. T's fouls it off. Well, but can't hold on. Did you get any responses on your website from... The idea of him coming out of a, a cake at some bachelorette uh, parties. Uh, quite honestly, I did have about three or four emails that would love to see TC <laughs> come out of a cake. <laughs> two, two line foul back into the seats. 
sure there would be a fee until Tom does anything for free. And they just respond on the website. Of course, that's the remreport.com if I haven't mentioned that. Or you haven't, Don, which you never do. <laughs> uh, you can probably get a hold of TC through the website. And for any parties, uh, bachelorette parties you may want, Tom's always available. You can even pick what Tom will wear coming out of the cake. We'll leave that up to the individual bachelorette. Run in here for the Red Sox in the bottom of the first. On top, one to nothing. David Ortiz and lengthy at bat. Battling away with a count of two and two. Shortstop to his left, Santiago, on a ball that had a lot of English on it, throws out Ortiz to end the inning. Red Sox lead it one to nothing. Okay, folks, let's get this party started. Uh, call Seattle. Get McGregor on the phone. Calling him now. Morning. Good morning. Morning. This is Scott McGregor. I'll be out of the office all day. Please leave a message. That's not like McGregor. McGregor's not there. Great. Excuse me. There's a Mr. McGregor here to see you. Southwest Airlines last minute fares. If you're paying more than $149 nonstop to Orlando or Tampa Bay, you're paying too much. You are now free to move about the country. Excuse me, huh? that ATM just ate my card and I have to be on a plane in an hour. Let me see what I can do. Miss? Yes? This must have gotten a little jam. Okay. The car should be coming right out. Oh, thank you so much. My pleasure. Have a nice trip. Would you like to make a transfer, please? Hello? Introducing Rain-X Car Wax. Same transparent polymer technology that makes our windshield treatment so effective. Now keeps your whole car protected from rain, dirt, UV rays, and more. There's almost nothing Rain X Wax won't protect your car from. Almost. New Rain X Car Wax. Protection you can see. You think about the philosophy that cars are driven by people. How everything you do, therefore, is and always will be about safety. You think about that, then you build not just the safest car you can, but a whole family of them. The 2004 Volvos. It's National Safety Month, a great time to introduce our family to you during the Volvo June for Safety, June for Saving event at your Volvo retailer now. Don Orsillo and Jerry Remy back at Fenway Park. Second inning, Red Sox on top, one to nothing. Eric Munson leading it off against Pedro. And he grounds it right side. David Ortiz to his right will need Martinez. And Pedro's there for out number one. Well, H.P. Hood is rooting for the Red Sox and kids throughout New England. Each time the Red Sox strike out an opponent, make a double play, a hit a home run at Fenway. Hood donates $100 to the Hood Home Team Advantage Fund, which in turn benefits children's hospitals all over New England. One down, and here is Craig Monroe, the right fielder for the Tigers. It's a 2-11, six homers, 25 runs batted in. Pedro's next pitch will be the 25th of his outing with one away here in the second inning. This one fouled off to our right. Shallow right field. Now it goes Todd Walker. In comes Nixon. But Walker has it under control for out number two. Shortstop, number 29, Ramon Santiago. Well, one of the more unlikely candidates to take Pedro Martinez deep is coming up in Ramon Santiago. Got his first major league home run off Pedro Martinez last season. This year he does not have any home runs. It was a very strange incident in which uh, Pedro Martinez gave up the home run and had kind of a tough outing in that game against the Tigers last season. 
Look back to Detroit last year when uh, Santiago had that home run. He had two in that game against the Red Sox, one of them off Pedro. The other home run you just saw there was Damian Easley, who uh, since has gone to Tampa Bay, and Tampa Bay has let him go. Pedro in that outing, giving up seven hits and four runs, including the home run to Santiago. against Pedro with a home run, but he did it against Burkett the very next night. Ortiz to his right, smothers it again. Martinez over and again, the put out. One, two, three, go the Tigers in the second. Red Sox on top, one nothing. You want the best values in America? Well, they're here now at the Dodge Summer Sales Drive. Where you'll find our best products. Like the powerful Ram 1500 with an available 5.7 liter heavy and our best deals. Get a $2,500 cash allowance or 0% APR financing for up to 60 months on Ram. All with Dodge's 7-year, 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Let us prove we got the best values in America. Hurry to your Dodge dealer today. away from other light beers. Corona Light. This summer, adverse to be exposed. There's something in the blood. It's right back. To the only movie that's scary as hell. 28 days later, rated R starts tomorrow only in theaters. Truth is, you may not win the grand prize, but don't sit inside and feel sorry for yourself. Get out and drive your consolation prize. Enter the Sit Go Peel Out Reel In and Win Million Dollar Challenge. And you just might have to settle for a Roush Stage 3 Mustang, a Triton Bass Boat, a Kawasaki ATV, or Jet Ski, or one of over 1,000 other prizes. Or maybe you'll get really lucky and take home the grand prize a million bucks. Enter at your participating Sit Go. Red Sox have a 1-0 lead as we go to the bottom of the second. Well, game time is Miller time at Fenway and on Nesson. Stop by a participating Fenway area retailer before game, and you will win free tickets to the game. End up on Nesson in the game time is Miller time. Fenway seats. Because those seats have changed. They used to be down that left field corner, and now they're down the right field side. Six, seven, and eight for the Red Sox to face Matt Roney here in the second inning. Red Sox on top, one to nothing. And Kevin Millar is the DH today, leading it off for the Red Sox. 313. 12 homers and 55 runs batted in. Millar pops it up in the infield, overcomes Kevin Witt, the first baseman, almost all the way to the mound to make the catch for out number one. Roney after giving up back-to-back -back doubles and a run in the first has retired four Red Sox in a row. As you look at sun-drenched Fenway Park on a warm afternoon in Boston, an unusual midweek day game here at Fenway Park, a getaway day for the Tigers. Nixon at 297, nine homers and 42 runs batted in. Over the last few games, Trot has run into a bit of a snag as he is three for his last 19 over the last six games. On the ground, diving is with at first. He can't come up with it. See in the right, and Nixon stands at first with one down. A win a low jack stolen vehicle recovery system by entering the low jack caught stealing sweepstakes at boston.com slash Nesson. Every time the Sox catch a runner stealing, go to the website, enter the date, opponent, and runner caught stealing for your chance to win. Well, base hit for Nixon, and his batting average jumps up to 300 with that, so back to that magic number. One out, one on. Bill Miller, the third baseman, and on the left side. Popped up into shallow left. Santiago out. Dimitri Young in. Easier play for the left fielder. Two down. The catcher, number 33, Jason Barrett. 
With Jason Veritek coming up, he'll get a fine hand for his work last evening. His 11th home run and threw out two base runners in the ball game last night. And of course, the incredible play at the plate, which was the play of the night and maybe of the year for Veritek. All around, terrific night for Jason Veritek with the bat, with the glove, and with the throwing arm. Look at 279 with that home run that got up over everything yesterday. 11 home runs and 38 runs batted in. That part it swing as you went around in a snap throw to first. Nixon back in time and Veritek in the hole. 0 and 2. One thing Aroni showed he's not afraid to throw inside both the right handers and left handers. The tied up Veritek there. There's that pickoff attempt, but uh, Nixon back in plenty of time. Inside again with the 92 mile an hour fastball. A lot of Rule Five pitches on this uh, staff. Not starting staff, but uh, sprinkle through the team. Some starters, some relievers. Looks like reaches out and sends it foul off third base. Over goes Munson, but it's well back out of play. Now, Veritek had been in a two for 24 skid. Prior to going three for five here last night with the home run, a double and two runs batted in. Oops, that gets him going. Certainly the home run total the most since 1999 for Jason Veritek already this season with the 11 home runs. Waves at that pitch and strikes out. First strikeout for Roney. The Red Sox gone on the second on top, one to nothing. winner with nothing but stuff. The other's got a no-hitter under his belt and a killer sinker in his back pocket. It's a call to arms this season on Nesson, and if you can't be there, be here. Saturday, Sox Marlins coverage at 6.30 on Nesson. Don Orsillo here, and so is July on Nesson. We're celebrating with everybody's favorite red, white, and blue team, the Boston Red Sox. Nesson is your home for Red Sox baseball. We start July on the road with fireworks provided by the Devil Ring, Yankees, Blue Jays, and Tigers. And then the All-Star break. Three days, no games, no fun. And then we're back with more Jays, Rays, Yankees, and Rangers. It's July on Nesson, and we guarantee fireworks all month long. New England's great outdoors. Peaceful. Tranquil. Not anymore. With a whole new season of Nesson Outdoors. Hosted by the mad fisherman Charlie Moore. With a new lineup of outdoor programming. Including Charlie Moore Outdoors, Divers Down, Northeast Journal, and the debut of Camo Country. For outdoor adventure and a whole lot of more, it's Nesson Outdoors. Sponsored by Obishan Hardware. Sundays at 8 on Nesson. Don Orsillo and Jerry Remy back at Fenway Park as we head to the top of the third inning. Our producer is Russ Ken, director Mike Narachi. Associate producer is Greg Patronzio, and our stat man is Paul Carroll. Tom Karen along in the crowd somewhere here in this 90-plus day at Fenway Park. And Pedro Martinez working to Matt Walbeck, Andres Torres, and Bobby Higginson here in the third inning. Pedro so far just 32 pitches deep into his outing. I 
sure about the sleeves that Pedro is wearing on this hot day. Very seldom you see Pedro go without the uh, long sleeve look. Swung on and missed. Makes quick work of Matt Walbeck. Third strikeout for Martinez. Pedro climbing the ladder with the fastball. He's got three strikeouts, two of them with the fastball, one with the curveball. Five in a row retired by the right-hander, Andres Torres, for the first time today. Number nine hitter and center fielder for the Tigers. It's a 228, no homers, and three runs batted in. This was one for one as a defensive replacement in game two of the series. I'll tell you, Don, you know what's big that right now? The tour business here at Fenway Park. Yes, it is. <laughs> this morning was unbelievable how many people were here early. Now I'm talking 9, 30, 10 o'clock mm -hmm. for these tours that go through Fenway. They get a view of the press box in our area. Martinez, back-to-back K's to open up the top of the third for it all for Pedro. Looks like Pedro just loosening up now. This time it's the curveball to pick up the strikeout against uh, Torres. Pedro started the game with 78 strikeouts, which is uh, eighth in the league. Of course, Pedro missed uh, all that time, and... As he stays healthy and builds up his innings, he'll uh, climb closer to the top. Roger Clemens leads the American League with 112 strikeouts. The 1 0 to Higginson as Pedro falls behind 2 0. You're right about the Tories. I think they really started to pick up around the St. Louis series where I noticed there was. Uh, Hundreds of people coming through, but uh, this has been a very busy time of the year here. Chance for fans to see some of the behind the scenes here at Fenway Park. People falling behind 3 0. Oh. You seldom see this. And a four pitch walk to Bobby Higginson, just the first walk given up by Martinez. Second baseman. Red Sox Fantasy Camp for Kids is coming up August 18th and 19th at the Melrose Sports Complex. Boys and girls ages 7 through 15 will enjoy two days of baseball instruction games and appearance by Red Sox Hall of Famer Louis Tion and a trip to Fenway Park where campers will be introduced on the baselines on August 19th. To reserve your spot, call 1-800-336-2267. Two down with Bobby Higginson at first base. Warren Morris struck out his first time up. So far, Pedro has allowed only two base runners. Gave up a double to Dimitri Young. Ground rule double back in the first inning with two down down the right field line. And most recently, a walk to Bobby Higginson. Higginson with seven steals at first base. He's been caught five times. And Pedro with two strikeouts in the inning so far. He struck out the side two times this season. April 12th against Baltimore. May 3rd against Minnesota. And in, and all of a sudden it's three and one now to Warren Morris. And Dimitri Young waiting on deck. Oh, Runner first is off. The pitch is a ball. And Pedro Martinez, on Pedro like, has walked back to back hitters here with two down in the third inning. Dimitri Young coming up. He has the only hit the Tigers have today. The 
doubled in the first did not get any further than second base as Pedro came back to strike out Kevin Witt to conclude the first inning young at 309 runners in scoring position well, Pedro starts off with strike one Dimitri's Young's 15 home runs are the most by a Tiger at this point in the season. Since Bobby Higginson connected for his 15th home run back on June 24th of 2000. second Morris at first two down here in the top half of the third inning Red Sox on top one to nothing Young sends it foul off the right side back and out of play Young got the double back in the first inning on a changeup by Pedro that time was a cut fastball but he pulls foul Trying to strike out the side. The one two is fouled off. Very defensive swing from Dimitri Young. Number first round pick of the St. Louis Cardinals, Dimitri Young, who's been in the big leagues with the Cardinals. 96 97, then four years with the Reds, and now in his second season as a member of the Tigers. Pedro again with the one two got him Martinez strikes out the side and Pedro's got it going today five K's APR financing for up to 60 months on Ram. All with Dodge's seven-year, 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Let us prove we got the best values in America. Hurry to your Dodge dealer today. <laughs> Introducing Rain-X Car Wax. transparent polymer technology that makes our windshield treatment so effective now keeps your whole car protected from rain dirt uv rays and more there's almost nothing rain x wax won't protect your car from almost new rain x car wax protection you can see Back at Fenway with the Red Sox on top one to nothing out hitting the Tigers three to one and the top of the Boston order to lead it off Damian Jackson who doubled in the first inning came around to score the game's lone run. Jackson with a two run single last night with the bases loaded part of a nine run bottom of the eighth inning for the Red Sox it certainly opened up things significantly. It's a 2-1 ball game into the eighth when the Red Sox opened up the floodgates. In the left field, another base hit for Jamie and Jackson. A leadoff single here in the third. Second 
Houston Red Sox baseball and Nesson is brought to you by Lojack, by Affleck, by Dunkin' Donuts, and by G. So Damian Jackson, two for two on the afternoon for the Red Sox. Here's Todd Walker, who doubled into right field his first time up and drove in a run. Jackson's still kind of fiddling with those sunglasses, trying to fit him inside the helmet. Up goes the catcher, Matt Wahlbeck, to talk to Matt Roney here. in the first inning for Todd Walker. That means he's reached base safely in 36 of his last 38 games since May the 10th. And the first one up and away to Todd Walker. And 77 for the Red Sox. They come in at 44 and 32. They're two games back of the Yankees to begin the day. They kept pace with New York winning 8 to 5 over Tampa Bay last night. The Red Sox winning here. Their third straight game against the Tigers. 2 0 now to Todd Walker. Infield a double play depth with nobody out here in the bottom of the third inning. Jackson at first. And Roney backs off to look him back to the bag. Mentioned Roney making only his second start since coming out of the bullpen. His longest appearance out of the bullpen was four and a third innings. Went three and a third last time out in his first start. He's thrown 39 pitches in his outing so far here today on a very warm afternoon at Fenway Park. It three and one. And the pitching has really not been the overall problem for the Tigers. Their numbers are actually better than the Red Sox in some categories, including earned run average, which is kind of surprising with the record that the Tigers have. Detroit 18 and 57, a major league's worst record. But their earn run average 4.72 as a club puts them kind of in the middle of the pack. Well, when you hit 230, 224 as a club and you've only scored 237 runs, tough to win games. Ball four to Todd Walker and the first run given up by Roney. The first two base runners for Boston have reached here in the bottom of the third inning. To bring Bob Cluck, the pitching coach, out. Gloves of award winning sports coverage every day. Call 1 800 984 5335 for 50% off home delivery. The Boston Globe, your world unfolding daily. There's Nomar who popped out to the first baseman, Kevin Witt, in the first inning. He's 0 for 1. He pops it up foul off to our right. Homered last night against the Tigers. Surprisingly, uh, the first time in a long time. His three-run home run in the eighth inning was his first home run since May 24th. Better than a month in between home runs for Nomar. Did that against the Cleveland Indians. It was a span of 119 at-bats in between home runs for Garcia Parra. Been 
terrific at home. He's actually hit safely in 27 straight games at Fenway Park. Hitting at 4.15 this year at home. This is inside. Two and one. Jackson a delayed steal to third, and he's going to be out. Had to take advantage there of getting to third base, but he is thrown out. And picked off by Matt Maroney. And Matt Walbach, the catcher, all over that. He threw the ball back to the pitcher, and he alerted the pitcher that that run of Jackson was going. So here's the throw back to the mound, and there goes Jackson. Incredible uh, move with the Garcia Parra at the plate. And Nomar obviously wasn't particularly uh, crazy about that move by Damian Jackson. to Nomar now ahead three and one and Jackson saw a wall back throw that ball back from his knees he never went back towards second base decided he was going to try it and wall back very alert notified the pitcher and he quickly threw the third base to get the out Nomar sends it foul on the three one back into the grandstand down the left field line nice grab down there by a fan in the air Hey, knocked his watch off, maybe, huh? Adjusting Looks that like. watch. Yeah. Nice concentration. He's dealing with a whole host of obstacles. He's got the railing there to his right. And some other people are trying to lean over him. Nice grab. Omar looks for 3 2 to left field. This takes Young back onto the dirt of the track. For out number two, and back to the bag at first goes Todd Walker. Omar gets underneath that one. That's interesting. I mean, you had first and second, nobody out. All of a sudden, it looked like, you know, maybe you got a big inning going with the big hitters coming up. Now quickly two outs and just a man on first. Change the complexion of this inning very quickly. And uh, the Red Sox kind of helping out Roney here. With two outs, Walker at first, Manny Ramirez popped out to second base his first time up. <laughs> Lifted down the right field line, foul back and out of play. See how far Matt Roney goes today. This is his 24th appearance overall, but only his second start of the season. And then he fouls it off. Down 0 and 2 is Ramirez. Now four and a third last time out. Or I should say three and a third. You expect maybe five innings out of him. Of course, that depends obviously on a pitch count. His next pitch will be the 50th of the day for the Tigers right-hander. Of the 50 pitches, 32 have been thrown for strikes. So he comes inside here to Manny ahead 0-2, as so he did last time. And he grounds it towards shortstop. Santiago from short throws out Ramirez, and Rona gets out of any trouble. He played 3-1-0 Boston. At Mallside Discount, there are so many tools and tarps to choose from, you won't know where to start. Tools for the do-it-yourselfer, tools for industrial use, tools for the most demanding jobs, all at Mallside's deep discount prices. The walls are filled with hand tools and accessories like Black & Decker saw blades, drill bits, and router bits. Mallside Discount also has the area's best selection of tarps and sizes from 5 by 7 to 50 by 100. Come into Trailside Discount, where we have all you want and more. Trailside Discount is now open. For all you want and more, come visit Mallside Discount in Bangor and Trailside Discount in Newport.
Hi, I'm Steve Schumann. Thank you for making Charlie's Maine's number one new car and truck dealer. Charlie's in Augusta is Maine's supermarket of used vehicles with over 500 used vehicles in stock. SUVs, vans, trucks, passenger cars starting as low as $99 per month. Over the past 16 years, no one has sold more cars than Charlie's Motor Mall. If you're in the market for a quality pre-owned vehicle and want the highest trade-in allowance, the best used car warranty, free car washes, and the best selection, then come to Charlie's Motor Mall in Augusta. Come see why over 6,000 customers a year buy cars and trucks at our dealerships. Good evening. Follow me, please. <laughs> Imagine what America would be like today if Martin Luther King never had a dream. Help keep the dream alive. To find out more about the Martin Luther King Memorial in Washington, D.C., call or log on now. Sox on top, one to nothing as we head to the top of the fourth inning. Pedro Martinez ready to deal with four, five, and six in the Tigers' order. Kevin Witt, Eric Munson, and Craig Monroe. Left-handed hitting first baseman Kevin Witt, a strikeout victim back in the first inning. And he has one of five Pedro strikeouts today. Amount of time spent in the minor leagues for Kevin Witt and the Toronto Blue Jays organization. Almost 200 home runs. This is sent foul down the third base line. He's down on the count 0 and 2 very quickly. Yeah, those are records I don't think the players are particularly proud of because that means you've been in the minor leagues too long mm -hmm. to be able to hit 200 home runs. Another dubious honor. I that you get back in in the seats. The Red Sox actually had a guy who I think is still the home run leader all time in the minor leagues. Uh, Red Sox farmhand Rick Lancelotti used to be with the Pawtucket Red Sox. I'm not sure if he's still the all time home run leader in the minor leagues, but you're right. Kind of a dubious honor, meaning that you were there for a very long time. Two from Pedro. Witt sends it the opposite way to left with authority. Ramirez on the move. Headed back. Leaps and can't make the catch. Off the wall and captured by Jackson. Throws it back in, but it's a leadoff opposite field double for Kevin Witt. Yeah, Witt just kind of reaches out after that uh, outside fastball, outside part of the plate, and uh, puts it right over the head of Ramirez. Now, you know, Manny does play a very shallow left field at Fenway, and I completely agree with him on that. Every now and then you're going to get beat on plays like that, but you can take away a lot of base hits playing shallow at Fenway, and, and Manny has done that. The second double of the day for the Tigers. Dimitri Young had doubled in the first inning and now Witt to open up the fourth. And Munson sending it down the right field line of the corner. A fair ball down there. Coming around from second base is Kevin Witt. He will score to tie the game at one. Back-to-back -back doubles for the Tigers to begin the fourth inning. Eric Munson gets a fastball out over the plate and shoots it right down that uh, right field line, just in fair territory. So back-to-back -back doubles, and the Tigers have tied this one in the fourth. I mean, Pedro looked unhittable in the third inning, a, a stretch of wildness to walk a couple of batters, but had three strikeouts. Now back-to-back -back doubles. Now Monroe, who popped up to second base his first time up. Again, Pedro involved in another tight battle here today at Fenway Park. Red Sox have gotten him only one run. And the Tigers here, thanks to back-to-back -back doubles to begin the fourth inning, have tied the game at one. This has popped up off first. David Ortiz ducks back into foul ground. Ranges over. Twirls the photographer as well and can't make the catch. 
He was there and had to kick off his glove. And it didn't look like he lost that ball in the sun. Now, he's got the sunglasses on, but it didn't look like the sun was a problem for him. Reaches up and just doesn't make the catch. So for a guy that has made some pretty decent plays over at first base the last couple of nights, problems with that pop-up. And they give Ortiz an error on that. That'll be his third of the season. First error for either side today. In there for strike three. Craig Monroe takes with him the sixth strikeout for Pedro Martinez. Well, that's the uh, backbreaker right there. The curveball that he's going to throw directly at Monroe. Watch him flinch. The back goes, and it just barely picks up the inside corner. And Pedro has just surpassed one of his heroes, Juan Marichal, with that strikeout. Now 2,304 for Pedro. Louis Tion is next. Two thousand four hundred and sixteen. Hudson at second base and Santiago taking a ball one and one. for a ball two and one to Santiago furthermore I'll tell you a little bit about the Tigers pitching you know they have that stat quality starts they've got 39 quality starts which is the same as the Minnesota Twins and the Red Sox and they have more quality starts from their starters than the Blue Jays and it is a young Tigers pitching staff Broken bat grounder softly hit right side to Walker. He will flip underhanded with a little bit behind it in time. Wasn't your everyday underhanded flip. It was more of a hard underhand toss for out number two. Now well, the ball bounced right out of the glove of Walker, but fortunately right back into the hand that he was going to underhand that ball to first base. There's the bounce, but uh, into the hand, and now the underhand flip to get a very speedy Santiago down at first base. Starts, of course, uh, six innings, three runs or less for a starting pitcher. What does that come out to ERA wise? That I don't know. Three runs in six innings. I don't know. Paul Carroll get on that. Yeah. I can do like addition and subtraction, but. So 4.50. Would be considered a quality stock. I guess so. That's, I guess, by today's standards, a pretty average earn run average. That's pretty high, though. No? Mm -hmm. A little bit high, yeah. But that is considered a quality stock. Munson at third base as Matt Wahlbeck struck out his first time. If you're just joining us, Pedro Martinez with six strikeouts today. The Tigers have most recently tied the score at one. After back-to-back -back doubles here in the fourth inning. Since the doubles, Pedro has struck out Monroe and got Santiago to ground out. It's amazing that whole quality start thing. Not really as a starting pitcher. All that is expected of you is six innings. With all the specialty pitchers now out of the bullpen. If you can give them six, anything beyond that is... Uh, over and above. In the left field, Manny Ramirez looking up into the sunshine there to make the catch. The Tigers grab a run and tie the score at one. Suzanne. 
Thanks, Tom. As the volcano continues to erupt, we take you live to correspondent John Ryland, who's at the scene. John, what's the situation? Suzanne, as you can see behind me, the lava is covering an area of about two square miles. It's a bad situation. But I do have good news. What's that, John? I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to GEICO. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. If you missed Sports Plus Wednesday night, you missed great sports talk and a whole lot of this. We're forced to talk about whether we should sign Nomar or Pedro. Yeah, but we, we're not forced to. We wish this on ourselves. You say it's false angst? I mean, it's yeah, real. I, mean, it's I think fair. it's real angst. I'm no, Kevin, I'm can't we just... No, but in Enjoy theory. it? No, we can't enjoy it. We know the boogeyman's in the closet. The Boston Globe Sports Plus, sponsored by Sam Adams, Wednesday after Red Sox baseball. Back at Fenway, it's tied at one now as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. And it's time now for our Affleck trivia question. The question today, what two pitchers have struck out 19 or more Tigers in a game? We'll have the answer for you in the next half inning. Well, Tom Karen is amongst the fans here today on a very hot afternoon. And let's check in with TC. Tom? Don, a lot of people sweating out here in the crowd. A lot of people trying to get on TV. Gail here and her family claim to be relatives of the Red Dog. That's right. What's the connection? Well, uh, Jerry is my grandmother's brother's child's child. There you go. Very easy to follow. <laughs> We're about six cousins. <laughs> I'm sure you'd like to catch up later. Have a little family reunion. We got some guys in the chat amaze here down at the Cape. Why would you leave the Cape on a day like this? Because I have to say one thing, Tom. You see, the Go Sox or Go Home. I'm going to Fenway to watch the hometown team right now. You're sweating, but I like what this kid's got. Now, what's that, and how's that work? Show me this. It's a little fan thing here. How's that work? Oh, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> it sprays. Guys, back thanks, to you. Tom. Let me get this straight. Grandmother's brother's brother's daughter. Am I right? We're not a very close family, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I had a very difficult time following that. Um, you know, it's possible, uh, but uh, I mean, if we go that far, I might be related to you. This is, <laughs> this is our series. <laughs> That's <cool. laughs> What, what's on four pitches to begin the inning? What was that? Uh, my grandmother? Grandmother's brother. Brother. But there's something about sons in there, too. Brother's son, that's what it is. Grandmother's brother's son. Rem, as I understand it, her, wait, her, your grandmother? My grandmother. And, and Jerry. And Jerry. Our, our third, third cousin. Yes. Oh, that's all. oh, that explains it. Your third cousins are their grandmother. Oh, oh, I get it. So you're like ninth removed. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll get a call tonight from Florida, right? My parents are probably watching the game. They'll go, you didn't know who that was? It's terrible. I believe it. Now, are you close with the rest of your family, some of the people that are within, like, three or four cousins? No, not really. No, we're not a, we're not a very close. <laughs> we're spread out all over the place. So you don't, like, even send Christmas cards or anything, or...? I stopped sending them about five years ago. I noticed they didn't get one. No, you won't either. No. I noticed that the third year in a row that I've sent one and not really received one back. I'd rather make a phone call and say, you know, Merry Christmas instead of that stuff. And I don't do that either. I, I was going to say that too, but I didn't leave that out. Tight-knit family. <laughs> Kevin Millar, three and one. I have children I have not seen in months. Millar <laughs> 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 chops it foul into the Tigers' dugout, a full count. I know they do call you from time to time, though, as they have some needs on occasion. Oh, they have plenty of needs. There's no question about that, and those needs continue. No matter how old they get, there are still plenty of needs. And it usually starts with something green. And it's not Wally. Ortiz is off at first, and Millar sends it foul down into the seats. Still a full count. 
Matt Roney working here into the fourth inning in his second start of the season. He's now thrown 60 pitches on this hot afternoon. Walk David Ortiz. A second walk given up by Roney in his outing. And now a full count to Kevin Millar. He goes Ortiz. Millar lines it into left field for a base hit. Dimitri Young over to play it. Ortiz up to second base on the single to left for Kevin Millar. And the Red Sox starting the fourth out like they did the third. They had a first and second situation with nobody out. This time it's Ortiz who draws the walk and Millar picks up the base hit. Kevin Millar who will use the whole field we see him pull the ball most of the time but uh, when he needs to go the other way with men in scoring position he certainly does that too. Nixon jumps back out of the way of that pitch. It's a pretty good RBI totals for the Red Sox this month. Manny Ramirez at the top of the list Millar and then Trot Nixon 17 for the Red Sox. And there's a chance for some more here with two on. Nobody out. Bottom of the fourth inning. And Trot sends it to left. Young is headed back. Falls down. It's up over his head. To the track and the wall. Ortiz will score. Millar is being sent around by Cubbage. The throw to the plate is not nearly in time. Two runs are in. And the Red Sox lead it 3-1. to one. Nixon with two more ribbies in June and 19 in the month of June. Now, Dimitri Young in left field. Now, this ball coming off the bat of a left hand, it has a natural tendency to slice away. And once he realized that ball was slicing away, he tries to put on the brakes right there, but loses the footing and uh, the ball right over his head to the wall. Kevin Millar coming across with the second run of the inning. So this time, the Red Sox take advantage of the first and second and nobody out. Now have the two run lead. Nixon now with 44. Runs bad in the season. And the Red Sox getting some runs for Pedro Martinez. Something that on the whole he has not had a lot of. Pedro on three occasions has turned it over to the bullpen and not been the recipient of a victory. Here today hoping that uh, that does not happen. Red Sox on top now 3-1. Bill Miller tried to hold up and apparently did. And we're just starting to get some action now out in the bullpen. Knuckleball of Steve Sparks loosening up. So a walk, a single, and a double given up by Roney in this inning. up at two and two. Well, the Tigers will certainly be glad to have Carlos Pena back whenever he's ready to go. As he was one for four with a double and an RBI for Toledo yesterday at Richmond. He's working his way back after a left hamstring strain put him on the DL on June 2nd. Bill Miller lunging after that pitch strikes out. Second strikeout for Roney and the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Miller had a couple of hits last night, two for four. That ball, uh, pretty good movement on that fastball, tailing away from Bill Miller. One down for Jason Veritek, a strikeout victim in the second inning. Foul tips into the catcher's mitt for strike one. And driving into this inning to give the Red Sox a two run lead. Veritek waving in that pitch down 0 and 2. Pretty good change up. Not down, I think, where he would like to have that, but certainly enough off speed to have Veritek off balance. He's a 
live as he sends it foul back to the backstop. And you know what set up that kind of swing is the first at bat for Veritek. He threw a bunch of fastballs inside, and he finally struck him out on a fastball away. And it was a similar swing to that. He's got Jason thinking about that fastball inside. Side of third. Well, with all these young pitchers that the Tigers have featured, uh, the Red Sox have not had a chance to face a lot of these guys. The first time for any of the Red Sox in this series against a lot of these new young Tigers pitchers. Always amazes me how individual hitters remember every pitcher they face. It just seems like you face so many pitchers during the course of a game and of a season. How you could remember different sequences. And there are guys who can tell you exactly what a guy would throw. Veritek sends it deep and far to right. Does it stay fair? Yes, it does. Up off the pole, out of the yard. Two-run shot for Veritek, and the Red Sox lead it 5-1. to one. Veritek had some funny swings just trying to protect the plate. Well, he comes back inside, and Veritek is all over it. He's just waiting for that pitch ever since that first at bat. And right off the foul pole for the home run. Now Jackson takes it deep and far to left, but it's bending foul. Veritek with his 11th home run last night, his 12th home run here today. Jackson grounds a foul outside of third. What a Posada's numbers. Veritek came into the game at 279. He now has 12 home runs and 40 RBI. I know Posada's having a pretty good year for the Yankees. I don't see him in the top 10 in home no. runs or RBI. Plus, Posada leads. Uh, the voting in the American League for catches. 250 average for Posada. And we'll get his home run and RBI numbers in just a second. Uh, we know who the better defensive catcher is. We believe it's Veritek. I think it is. This is a one hopper to short. Santiago is there and fires to first to retire Damian Jackson. Seems like Posada always has a ton of pass balls. Let's take a look again at uh, sequences of Veritek swings in this game. Now, this is from overhead. This is the fastball that's away from him. And you can see a very defensive swing. He's obviously waiting for that fastball in. And he finally gets it in and uh, hits that. Home run off the foul pole, off pesky pole. But he had a couple of swings, at least three of them, in his first two at bats on balls away, like almost just feeling for it. Two down for Todd Walker. One is still out there. It's Walker getting his third look at that. Ronnie is Walker has doubled and walked in the game. 2-0 delivery. Okay, we got the numbers on Posada. 250 with 15 home runs, three more than Veritek, and 48 RBI, eight more RBI than Veritek. Mm -hmm. well, four four pitch walk to Walker second time. He's gotten a free pass on this one. Third walk given up by Ronnie. And here comes Alan Trammell. As Ronnie has worked here into the fourth inning in his second start of the season. He's had to throw 81 pitches, and he will not throw another. They've had Sparks, the knuckleballer, up in the pen appears. He's coming on. We're in the midst of the bottom of the fourth. Red Sox now on top, five to one.
back at Fenway. 5-1. Red Sox on top. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. As a pitching change. But uh, first, let's take a look at the Aflac trivia question answer. Aflac! And the question today, what two pitchers have struck out 19 or more Tigers in a game? You know, Roger is one of them. Back in 1996, Nolan Ryan is the other. 19 in 1974. Steve Sparks on for the 27th time this season. His second appearance of this series against the Red Sox. He worked an inning in two thirds a couple of days ago, allowing three hits and no runs. Sparks, of course, used to be a starting pitcher. All his work this year out of the bullpen. And Omar Garcia Parra, the first to face him. And Omar 0 for 2 today pops out to first. Fly to the track in left. 0 for 2. in there for a strike. Kind of a late call from Bill Miller. It took a good long look at it. Certainly as a knuckleball guy, you really have to rely on the home plate umpire to wait a little bit. That looked to be more of a curveball than a knuckleball. Popped up into shallow center field. Now goes Warren Morris. And he'll make the catch for the final out. Red Sox come up with four runs in the fourth, including the home run by Veritek. Lead it 5-1. Think any truck compares to F-150 or Super Duty? Look again. F-Series, the number one selling truck in America. Super Duty, more pulling power than any truck on the planet. And F-150 was named the highest ranked full-size pickup in initial quality by J.D. Power & Associates. To celebrate Ford's 100th anniversary, get an F-150 or Super Duty with zero financing for up to 60 months or up to 3,000 cash back. Only at your New England Ford dealer. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again. Hard work, experience, lead to success. Hamill, Waxler, Allen, and Collins, personal injury law. Red Sox fans are big game hunters. Fenway's always in season, and now with Tigers and Marlins on the loose, the Sox are sure to bag a few W's. The Sox take the untamed Tigers by the tail, June 23rd through the 26th, and then the Sox give the Marlins the hook as they close out interleague play June 27th through the 29th. It's the Tigers and Marlins. For tickets, call 877-RED-SOX-9 or log on to RedSox.com. Back at Fenway, the Red Sox and the Tigers playing game four of a four-game series. Take a look at the game summary. Jason Veritek has just hit the pole down the right field line for his 12th home run. Nixon with a two-run double and Todd Walker with an RBI double of his own. Ronnie has gone from the game after three and two-thirds, giving up the five runs the Red Sox have. And Pedro on the mound ready to work here in the fifth. One try, and Pedro snares it and flips to first to retire. The number nine hitter Andres Torres for the first out of the inning. Nice play by Pedro getting off the hill. Yeah, just barely got it in the glove. The ball gets by Pedro. It's a base hit. That's what you try to do when you drag a bunt and get it by the pitcher. But Pedro makes the play. Fortunately, he got the nice big bounce that came up high, and he was able to get the glove on it. Ball gets by him. It's a hit. Well, a 19-minute bottom of the fourth inning for the Red Sox offense and for Pedro to sit on the bench, although... It is a very warm day here at Fenway. Bobby Higgins in the top of the order. 0 for 1 with a walk. Last inning, you started to talk about guys who remember each pitcher. Were you a guy that remembered uh, what each pitcher Yeah, you? you remember them. I mean, there are certain guys you don't, obviously. Some you don't see as much as others out of the bullpen, you know, and you need a refresher cost on them. But most of the starting pitches you remember. Even... Sequences and how good well, yeah, how you remember. Get you, out. you pretty much remember what they do with you, uh, how they try to get you out with men in scoring position, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's very rare that you don't remember a starting pitcher. 
And today, obviously, the players, they go right to the videotape, and they can take a look at the last time this guy worked against him, or they can look at his last outing against whoever he pitched against, and, you know, it clicks back in a hurry. Two two on the outside corner for strike three seventh punch out for Pedro Martinez and Higginson with words for Bill Miller. Uh, he's had a good curveball today. A number of his strikeouts have come on the curveball. Bobby Higginson obviously didn't like that last call. Let's take a look. Starts it away back door. Pretty good pitch. He was tossed him. Yeah. You see it's going to get plenty of the plate there and uh, Higginson out of the ball game. Higginson has now drawn a line around where that ball went, surrounding the outside of that plate and not actually on the plate. After he had been ejected, he went over with the knob of the bat to do that. And Alan Trammell out there arguing as well. Well, you know, I mean, I can understand the frustration, but I mean, to me, when you watch this from overhead, it certainly gets the outside corner. Now, we've seen a lot of pitches not even close to the outside corner that have been called strikes. Trammell's really not supposed to argue balls and strikes. He's out here uh, probably arguing for his uh, player, Higginson. But he's going to go to it. <laughs> hey, you really, you know, you can't do that. Ben Miller, to his credit, gave him a chance to say his piece there for a while before he did actually run it. And certainly, Allen is a guy who probably pretty frustrated with the way his first season at the helm of the Tigers is gone. But, at all. You know the other thing Don there have been other pitches that have been called strikes in this game that was certainly didn't look to be strikes and maybe the frustration is built up. The last one to me looked pretty good. We'll take one more look at it and you'll see watch the outside corner and it certainly looks like it has the corner. Well, there have been others in this game, I will admit, that I think have gone in Pedro's favor, but I think that was a legitimate strike. Do you agree that inconsistency is the thing that bothers most? Absolutely. The other, point, the other point is, too, Don, when you're, when you're facing Pedro Martinez, in other words, he doesn't need any help, you see, <laughs> and that's what the other dugout saw. Look, this guy's been Cy Young. He doesn't need any help out there. There's Warren Morris with two down. Nobody on now for the Tigers. So Alan Trammell has been ejected. And Bobby Higginson, not in that order. Higginson went first, then Trammell. And Kirk Gibson likely taking over over there, the bench coach. Yeah, Alan Trammell did hand the uh, lineup card to Kurt Gibson, the bench coach. Four pitch walk from Pedro Martinez the third walk given up by Pedro two out walk to Warren Morris second time Morris has walked Left fielder, number 25 Pedro. I'm now I'm looking down behind that third base dugout and I see the uh, you know the Wally that runs around the park do you yes. think Wally's a little warm today oh I think uh, yes yeah I, I was with Wally the New Hampshire State House and uh, Wally was very hot same type of condition but I think today's actually warmer Wow, it's got to be tough down there uh, with all that fur and everything. <laughs> Gets away from Veritech. Warren Morris will jump up into scoring position. Pedro is now throwing 81 pitches, 46 for strikes. Given up three hits. They've all been doubles. Dimitri Young has one. He had a double back in the first inning off Pedro. Ground rule double down the right field line. And he sends one in that same general direction again, but Nixon is there this time. Route number three. Halfway through this one, Red Sox on top five to one. For extra convenience, extra value, and extra service, stop at Extra Mart. When you're on the go, you need a little extra. Fuel up on Extra Mart's Deli Joe sandwiches, Brew Boy coffee, and more. For your car, Extra Mart offers the brand